hello cancer welcome uh to my channel welcome back to my channel for some of you guys hope you guys are doing well we're going to take a look and see this is your general love reading for july we're going to take a look and see you're showing up in your reading see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well as i always say please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay and if you know if this isn't your situation if i don't pick up on your situation you can always stick around and sometimes it could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you and of course as i always say just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so given most just take these in i will clarify these cards um off camera guys simply because it just takes too long i'm um, gonna hold you guys up okay so just give me a moment it's gonna take these in clarify them and i'll be back. So uh, Cancer, let's start the reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. And of course, if this isn't your situation, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right. So it seems like you're in protective mode. Um, answer. Uh, protective mode because this person, we've got the... We've got the three of uh, swords here, which talks about this person, you know, pain or hurt was on their mind. Um, and it seems like it, it's not coming from you, though. It's not pain or hurt that you've caused, but it's more about outsiders. I feel like this is very much outsiders, maybe, you know, maybe close family, close friends. They're in a circle, someone that or people that has an impact on or that they have how do I put that? It's not even so much that they value their opinion, but they take on board their opinion. It's that type of thing. Which is why you're kind of in protective mode uh, with the with the king of uh, wands there. This drive or this focus to continue with this relationship, even bring it to a higher level. For some of you, this could be someone that you want to get engaged with or a f fiance or someone that you want to um, maybe marry as well. But there's definitely this atmosphere or this uh, intention of advancing this relationship in some way moving forward with that seven of of swords someone that you feel you want to be long term with or someone that you've either been long term with and or someone that you your intention is to have a uh, long term there is a bit of you kind of being up in your head about this again i feel like it's to do with this person's um inner circle or those that are around them but again it's like I've got this king of, of wands, this drive, this focus in order for you guys to build something. In order for you guys to build something. This person is trying to remain strong. Um, trying to be patient. There is this element of, <clears throat> I do apologize, an awareness, let's say that. An awareness of the need to be patient. Uh, and moving forward positively because there is this strong attraction. Strong attraction that you both have that they most definitely have towards you. So they want it to be strong with the strength card there trying to remain strong we do have the queen of wands which matches your king so again there is this focus this drive on fixing this or healing this i don't know if these outsiders got the better better of this connection or this relationship in some way and maybe that's where that star is coming from or maybe they did a move or took some form of action in the past which they kind of had to go back on their self because maybe it was the wrong decision. Um, but they're definitely, the focus is on um, building something. Again, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, which talks about establishing, establishing something. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. You're showing up as the two. Strong emotional connection that you do have with this person. You know, your focus is on that star card, which talks about, you know, feeding this relationship. Feeding this relationship and protecting it from outsiders. We've got that seven of wands. And that's really important because I feel like the whole theme of this relationship is you protecting this. Them too, 
them too, but I feel like just your your energy, your um, because maybe there is a bit bit of how do I put that? Maybe because this person, it, you can see how maybe vulnerable this person is with, when it comes to these other people. You're kind of got into this protective mode, trying to defend, protect even yourself as well from these people's opinions. Um, again, the focus is on. Uh, embracing this opportunity to create something new with this person and lay a foundation, a strong foundation. Doesn't get away from the fact, though, that this is stressing you out, causing you a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Just these people, it's, 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 this is outside influences. These are outside energies that are trying to come in and um, just cause a bit of havoc when it comes to you guys building something. You know, I'm not sure why each to their own. If this is resonating with you, then, you know, apply it where it fits. But that, you know, it's, it's, it's worrying you, stressing you, but you're trying to remain in control with that M card. I love that. It feels like very much, I'll tell you the energy of this, it feels very much like you're in protective mode. You're protecting this person. You're protecting this relationship. Um, yeah. Yeah, and your person showing up as the two. So you both have two, two of cups and two of wands here. So this person has decided on you. You know, there's no ifs or buts about that. Uh, even if maybe in the past they was easily swayed by these outside influences. Uh, but, you know, that right now it's like, uh, this is the person that I want to be with. This is the person I want to move forward with. This is the person that I want to actually spend you know, if 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 it's moving towards marriage, if it's that type of thing, that this is the person that I actually want to spend my life with, you know, and their f- focus is on uh, having peace, you know, having peace, uh, bringing this into alignment, bringing it maybe back into alignment as well. I tell you, these outside influences has come in and tried to, for whatever reason, try to disrupt this. Um, so this person is very cognizant, very mindful of how they move now with that king of swords. I'm talking about how, how they move now, you know, not being so open with information, not being so forthcoming with just telling their business to people, you know, asking for advice or whatever the case may be, which gives these people an opportunity to have their say, you know, have their say, wanting things to turn around um, or focusing it on, on things turning around. Most definitely wanting things to just kind of turn around and continue to turn in their favor um yeah we've got the queen which talks about establishing something going back to that queen there so the focus is on okay establishing something you're feeling the um the was well, how do i put that you're feeling the mm, okay so okay we'll, we'll get to that in a minute you've got with the they've got the eight of wands there so there could be communication a lot of communication going back between the both of you which kind of makes sense you know, especially if you guys are being, or the relationship is being challenged by out by outside influences, then, you know, there's a hell of a lot of communication happening. Uh, maybe the communication is about where you guys are going, the plans that you've got set for yourself. The person is really emotionally fulfilled by this. There's acknowledgement of that. Not to say they didn't acknowledge it in the past, but definitely there's acknowledgement of that. And the focus is on just putting in work, putting in work, whatever it is that you guys want to do. Whether it's, you know, move abroad, whether it's get married, whatever the case may be, there is this focus. I want to go back to this because for some reason, and I'm not sure whether these people have brought up, because we do have that shadow side there. I'm not sure whether this person is, or these people, it could be a particular person, but I'm not sure whether these outside influences, I'm going to say, has brought something into the picture that's caused you that's caused this worry has caused this worry maybe a move they made or some information they they kind of brought up yeah but you're protecting this you both are but you're more active <laughs> I do apologize good gosh guys but you're more active in doing so in doing so um but be careful. I want to say before we move into part two of the reading and kind of see where this goes, that's for those of you that are interested. I want to say be careful because these people could or person could play a bit dirty 
you know, they can play a bit dirty. So move, move in a way that is smart, move in a way that is intelligent and think long term. I know, uh, you know, cancers are not very sporadic in terms of just response. They're not reactive. Let's say that they're not so much reactive. So that, you know, you, you, that could save you in itself. But this person or these people, they can play dirty. So be mindful of that. However, I feel like because of the connection, because of where you both are at, at the moment, it, 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 I, d I don't think they're going to penetrate this at all, at all. But let's move into part two of the reading, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. Again, links in the description bar below, guys, for those that are interested. Other than that, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Um, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.